G'day guys, and today, in this video, I'm going to outline the epistemological beliefs of Plato and Aristotle, two of the world's most famous philosophers, and attempt to show the difference between them to highlight, of course, the differences between rationalism and empiricism, which I touched on on a previous video. Now we'll go ahead and get started with Plato, because I'm assuming we're all more familiar with his ideas of how the world works, the allegory of the cave and such, than Aristotle. So Plato believed in a dualistic world model. He believed that the world we live in, the world that you're seeing right now on this screen, on your computer or phone or whatever, is the illusory world of the senses. Whereas the real world is the world of ideas, which contains the ideal forms of everything. So looking around in this false illusionary world, I can see on my desk there's a cup, there's a lamp, and there's a microphone. Now these aren't actually true representations of cup, lamp, and microphone because those only exist in the, uh, the world of ideas, which you can't actually sense or perceive. Although we are born with the concepts of what exists in this world of ideas, so that's why we're able to go around and recognize cup, lamp, and microphone, because they're imperfect reflections of the um, true concept of what constitutes cup, lamp, and microphone. Through this, Plato was able to say that earthly knowledge is but a shadow, Again, tying back into the allegory of the cave, all that we're perceiving is the flickering of fire and shapes on a cave wall rather than the true objects themselves. Now this stands in quite marked contrast to Aristotle. Now what Aristotle believed is that truth resides in the world around us. Now if you're familiar with the basics of um, empiricism or you've watched my, uh, my last video on the topic, this will smack of empiricism. So what Aristotle believed is that as we traverse the world around us, we see different instances of things, such as this cup on my desk. We can recognize the common characteristics of cups and mugs and that sort of thing, and we begin to categorize them using our senses. So we look at this cup and we can see it has a handle and it has a round shape and it is hollow in the center and that sort of thing. And these are all um, intuitions that we use to build up concepts, which is something else I've touched on on a previous video. So what Aristotle was able to determine was that we can find the truth of the world from evidence in the world around us. So we can use our senses to garner what is true about the world. Whereas Plato said we cannot use our senses to garner truth about the world because we live in an illusionary world and our senses are imperfect. He instead insisted that we have to rely on these innate concepts that we are born from, from this you know, platonic realm of highest ideal perfect forms. The ideas put forward by these two great thinkers neatly demonstrates the difference, or the contrast, between empiricism and rationalism. Now obviously Plato was a rationalist and Aristotle was an empiricist. The key difference between rationalism and empiricism is of course how we go about gaining knowledge of the world. Empiricists like Aristotle claim that we can use our senses, our sense perceptions of the world, to garner knowledge. whereas Rationalists, like Plato, say we cannot, and we must rely on something else, whether it is the intuitions garnered um, from innate concepts of a higher form, like his Platonic realm, or others who say we must use logic and reason to determine what is true. Both systems of thoughts have their merits. Science, especially the scientific method, is rather empirical, whereas things like mathematics are more rationalistic, so there are applications for both schools of thought. Now there's only so much I can cover in a short video such as this, so if you have anything to add to the conversation, feel free to throw it down in the comments section below. Thanks all for sticking around.